Welcome to the Santa Fe Report. I'm Norm Morrison, and we're here again in the beautiful high desert of the great American Southwest. Thank you for being here with me. I'm going to start off today where I left off yesterday. I just got into Santa Fe. And the first few weeks I was here went very well. Actually, the, the first couple of months that I was here went very well. One of the things that was clear to me, even before I came here, was that for the first two or three months, my job was going to be to meet people and connect with them, to acclimatize myself to the climate, to the altitude here, as well as the culture of Santa Fe. Now, one of the things that was not my intent when I moved here was to date. But I happened to meet someone who I was in simpatico with, and we started to see each other. And after seeing each other for about a month, a situation happened. And I went into this rejection mode. I felt rejected. But the truth was, I wasn't being rejected at all. But I had taken something from what was the current situation and associated with something that had happened way in the past, years ago, decades ago, and it felt the same to me. And all this emotional energy came up into me. And it kept replaying in itself in my mind time after time. And each time it replayed, this emotional energy came up and I just suffered. And I suffered for a month after this event until such time as I could get my thoughts under control so that I wasn't suffering anymore, so all the emotion wasn't coming up. And all this old crap coming up, I recognized that there were multiple layers below it. There always are. And at the bottom someplace, there are core issues that cause us to behave in certain ways, to behave in certain patterns. And once I was able to control my mind enough where I wasn't replaying the situation all the time, it came to me what the core issue was. And there are three core issues and derivatives thereof that affect almost everyone on Earth. And in all this old crap coming up, I knew that there were layers below it. And in order to get to the very bottom layer, to the very core issue, you had to dig down. And eventually it came to me what my issue was. And it was one that 99% of the people on the face of this planet suffer from. And there's three basic beliefs and derivatives thereof. And the first one is, I am not enough. I'm not worthy. And I'm not lovable. And if you're listening to this, you're probably suffering from one of those or more. But once it comes into our conscious awareness, we're able to do something about it. We can release it. And we'll talk about that in future videos. It's like a house of cards. When you pull the bottom card out, the whole house just falls in on itself. All the beliefs above that one core belief will just dissolve away. So in order to understand our behaviors and patterns, we need to find out what's driving them. What are the core issues? What are the core beliefs that we have? And in doing that, in becoming consciously aware of them, we can change our behaviors. And in doing that, it frees you. And life becomes bigger and more expansive. So this one event was one of my biggest blessings because it allowed me to come into an understanding of what my core belief was. And in this case, it was, I'm not enough. I mean, after all, it felt like this woman was rejecting me, even though that wasn't true. But if I was enough, I wouldn't be rejected, right? So if I'm being rejected, then I must not be enough. And over time, I was able to release that, or much of it. I don't know if it'll ever rear its ugly head again or not. Maybe it will. But I do know that it won't, it won't come up in such a big way as it did before. So I have an understanding now, at least in part, of what my reason, or one of my reasons for coming to Santa Fe was. Part of it's to heal some old wounds, to heal some old hurts. And as time progressed, I came to understand more and more some of the reasons of why I needed to move here. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching. I'm Norm Morrison. This is the Santa Fe Report.